Travis Kelsey reveals new vacation with Taylor Swift after Chiefs win over Raiders on podcast. On Tuesday, October 29th, Travis and Jason Kelsey went on the air for the new New Heights podcast, a recording of the Kelsey brothers' conversation released ahead of its official release on Wednesday. Travis and Jason Kelsey talked about Travis' touchdown in the Chiefs' win over the Raiders on Sunday. With Jason Kelsey being incredibly surprised and praising Travis' performance in the Chiefs vs. Raiders. Game, Jason said, Travis silenced everyone for a minute after that epic touchdown, even I was shocked for a moment with Travis' impressive performance. Travis Kelsey then expressed that the Chiefs' win over the Raiders was an important victory and he also tried his best to help the Chiefs win. Travis then said that his successful touchdown was partly thanks to Patrick Mahomes helping him, Kelsey also expressed gratitude to Mahomes in the podcast, Travis Kelsey then talked about Patrick Mahomes' charity event on Monday which was a very meaningful event. Jason Kelsey immediately asked Travis, some people saw Travis and Taylor at the event. Travis replied, of course it was a meaningful event and we only came at the end of the show, Jason said, so where did you two go while the show was going on, Travis chuckled and said that was a secret, he then continued. Actually we just walked around a bit and came back right when the event was almost over, Jason said, OMG that must have been a great night for Travis Wright. Travis nodded and said, of course, man, the Kelsey brothers laughed and continued talking about Taylor Swift's celebration moment, Jason went on to say that even Swift had some kind of gesture to celebrate Travis' touchdown, as far as I can see Swift actually held up three fingers to symbolize the Chiefs' three-time win. That really touched me, Travis chuckled and added, it was a meaningful gesture to me, and honestly, I think people were a little confused, there were actually three main meanings behind Swift's three-finger gesture at the New Orleans concert, the first was our one year of dating, the second was 13 plus 87 equals 100, and the third, I guess Swift was implying that I would win another award. And of course Swift held up three fingers to symbolize three great ones, Travis chuckled and turned to look at Jason, Jason then nodded and said. Well, maybe I thought it was simple at first, but it actually makes more sense than I thought, Travis Kelsey scored his first touchdown of an unbeaten season so far in the game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Las Vegas Raiders. However, the universe can work in funny ways, because just hours ago, his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, gave Kelsey the nod at her second concert in New Orleans. She did a touchdown while performing Midnight Rain. Kelsey was unable to attend Swift's concert in New Orleans because of his away game on Sunday. This weekend. However, might be different. Kelsey's next game is Monday, November 4, at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Swift will be performing nearby in Indianapolis this weekend. Her shows are set to run from November 1 to November 3, the source also described Kelsey as Swift's protector. He gives her a huge sense of peace, the insider said. Just his physical presence. She feels safer with him than with anyone she's ever known, she knows he would do anything for her, and physically, she feels protected by him, and she loves that feeling. This is a relatively new feeling for her, relationship-wise, Travis is her protector in every sense of the word, the source continued. He'll make sure she's physically safe and emotionally safe, he won't do anything reckless or reckless with her. Despite getting off to a slow start individually this season, Kansas City Chiefs superstar tight end Travis Kelsey is taking things in stride, during Wednesday's episode of the New Heights podcast, beginning at the 21-16 mark, Kelsey said the following when asked by his brother, former Philadelphia Eagle center Jason Kelsey, about his lack of production thus far and how he feels about it, that's football, man. I'm not about to sit here and get frustrated about it. I used to get really, really pissed off and almost lose by cool a lot of the time from not having that success, knowing I demand that out of myself. I just like to play the game to such a high level of accountability that it's tough for me to deal with being mediocre or having stats that represent that. I stopped caring about stats about 4 or 5 years ago and I just went out there and started to just play free and wanted to play for my guys. Sure enough, I think that's the better mentality. You think about it more play by play and what your job is on that specific play. 
I think moving forward it's just how can I be better in those moments. Through two games this season, Kelsey has just four receptions for 39 yards and no touchdowns. That includes making just one grab for five yards in the Chiefs' 26-25 win over the Cincinnati Bengals in Week 2, it is quite the rarity to see Kelsey struggling from a statistical perspective since he is unquestionably one of the greatest tight ends in NFL history. With the exception of his rookie season, which saw him appear in only one game, Kelsey has never finished an NFL campaign with fewer than 67 receptions or 862 yards. From 2016 to 2022, Kelsey made NFL history by becoming the first tight end to top 1,000 receiving yards in seven straight seasons. Plus he never had fewer than 83 receptions in a season during that run, and he scored double-digit touchdowns three times. Kelsey's 1,000-yard streak ended last season, but he still had an excellent year by tight end standards, finishing with 93 catches for 984 yards and five scores. There was some concern about Kelsey's play dropping off, though, as he didn't score a touchdown in any of his final six regular season games in 2023. Nor did he top 44 yards in any of his final three games, Kelsey was back to his old tricks come playoff time, though, as he racked up 32 receptions for 355 yards and three touchdowns in four postseason games and played a huge role in the Chiefs winning their second straight Super Bowl and their third in five years. That momentum hasn't carried over to the start of the 2024 season, though. And there will likely be more and more questions about the 34-year-old veteran's form the longer he goes. Without a breakout game, Kelsey is a nine-time pro bowler and a future Hall of Famer, though, and he showed last season that he is capable of flipping the switch when need be, the Chiefs haven't needed huge production out of Kelsey to start 2-0. But with star running back Isaiah Pacheco going on injured reserve with a fractured fibula, Kelsey could potentially become a much bigger part of the game plan starting with Sunday night's road game against the Atlanta Falcons. NFL star Travis Kelsey and Hollywood icon Hugh Grant may seem an unusual pair, but the two shared a memorable night together during Taylor Swift's era's tour stop at Wembley Stadium. This chance encounter between the Super Bowl-winning tight end and the British actor unfolded in the heart of Swift's epic concert, where fans from all over gathered for the global music sensation sold-out show. Grant attended the concert primarily to please his daughter, who is a devoted Swifty. The actor admitted that his initial goal was simply to get his daughter close to her pop idol, but the night took a surprising turn when he crossed paths with Kelsey, according to Grant. He and Kelsey soon found themselves in the midst of an unforgettable evening marked by laughter, music, and perhaps most notably tequila. For Kelsey, already enjoying a streak of headline-worthy events, from career highlights to rumored connections with Swift, the night added another unexpected chapter. As for Grant, the evening showcased a more playful side of the actor, known for his refined roles in classic romantic comedies. With Swift's tour already renowned for its impressive production and fan experiences. This celebrity filled night added yet another unforgettable memory. The event at Wembley brought together not just fans, but a memorable meeting of pop culture, sports, and Hollywood, proving once again that Taylor Swift's influence extends far beyond music. In a bad situation, that whole entire unit stepped up when their number was called to make a big time stop, Mahomes said about the Chiefs' defense. That's what it takes from great football teams. It takes greatness from everybody, it can't be one guy. That's what's made us so great for so long. Throughout my career, it's not all about me. It's not all about Trav. It's about this entire team. That's what makes it so special. On Sunday, the Chiefs picked up their seventh win of the 2024 NFL season by beating division rivals Las Vegas Raiders 27-20 on the road. In the third quarter of the game, the defense came up with a big play in the red zone. Following a deflected pass from Mahomes that ended in an interception, Las Vegas had the ball at the Chiefs' three-yard line. Still, Steve Spagnuolo's boys held the opponents to zero points on that possession. Chiefs head coach Andy Reid admitted Mahomes' offense put the defense in a tough spot, so he gave the unit its flowers, offensively, we put the defense in a bad position. 